Welcome, hello, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome to my channel if you're watching via YouTube. If you're listening via the podcast, I want to welcome you guys. So today we are doing a daily vibration for December 11th, 2019. Today's actually my mother's birthday, so major shout out to my mother. Um, major, major, major shout out to my mom. She is awesome and amazing. Um, I can actually say, yeah, my mom is actually a pretty cool Sagittarius. So shout out to all the Sagittariuses, okay? So now today we're doing a daily vibration for December... 11th, 2019, which is vibrating on the number eight. Now, before we jump into the daily vibrations, I do the breakdown of the daily vibration. I do want to remind you guys, okay, that I go live on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Uh, you guys can find me on YouTube via the number for your inner voice. So the same with the channel is spelled is where you guys can come on and find us on Friday nights at 8.30. It's Pay It Forward Friday, so I jump into the chat and I answer questions, so come on and join me. Also, my love, so it's the holidays, and you guys can now get a coaching slash slash intuitive reading with me for a donation of $50. So you can get a 30-minute coaching session slash intuitive reading with me uh, for a donation of $50, okay? Not to mention these daily vibrations are uploaded daily on my podcast as well as my YouTube channel. Um, I also want to let you guys know that you can actually also win a free um, coaching session slash intuitive reading with me. You guys can just make your donation via PayPal to the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. Uh, same way the channel is spelled is my PayPal information, just at gmail.com or cash app dollar sign K I M O Y one zero six. Make your donation of any amount and make sure you include best life and an email address and you'll be submitted into the contest where you, um, could win a free intuitive reading. So how are you guys doing today on this wonderful Wednesday? Wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. So now we've been talking about your emotions, a.k.a. the moon placement, okay, in the zodiac and how that affects you on a physical level. And, um, you know, starting Sunday, we, talk, we started talking about the moon energy and what the moon energy represents. And yesterday I talked a little bit about the shadow side or the dark side or the shadow self and what that represents. Uh, today we're going to take it even another layer uh, and ask yourself like what are you what are your emotions trying to tell you or trying to show you or trying to um, help you to either embrace or to release that you know um, that that no longer serves you right so today before we jump into the breakdown let me just let you know we're vibrating on the number eight today the number eight is all about abundance this can be either your money or your finances but before I do anything else, I really like to remind you guys that intuition is on point and plays a point in your daily life every day, okay? So whether or not you choose to use it or you choose to interact with your intuitive nature, it's really up to you. But can I tell you something? When you do, can I just say that things just seem to flow a lot more smoothly because you're no longer resisting. You're no longer fighting against your enemy, your inner me, right? The inner me, right? You're no longer fighting against... Um, the world. You're literally going internally and you're doing the internal work, aka the emotional work that you need to do, aka balancing your chakras, aka mastering your chakras, aka ma uh, mastering the planetary alignments within you, okay? Now, with that being said, intuitive energy is in the atmosphere all day, every day, okay? So today, the number eight vibrates on abundance, money, and finances may be at the forefront for some of you. Your confidence is going to be key today, as well as your personal power powers okay it's insightful energy in the atmosphere today as well as stable energy cause and effect is in the atmosphere today okay so just pay attention to that aka karma now there is no karma without a cause or a effect first you got to do something in order for something else to manifest Point being, in order for your car to move, you either have to, A, put your foot on the gas pedal, okay? Or for it to stop, you got to put your your foot on the brake pedal. So there has to be some type of movement, some type of action. So there's always a cause to the effect, 
So keep that in mind. That is how karma is produced in this third dimensional realm, okay? Truth may be at the forefront today as well as stability, okay? The lower vibrational end of the number eight, however, is dictatorship, discrimination, greed, domineering energy, tactlessness. That means somebody don't got no manners. Just say whatever they want to with disregards. Um, they don't give a shit about your feelings when they do that, okay? And also people with uh, superiority complex, all right? So keep in mind, you have the power to change states at any time, okay? Uh, so you can't be happy and sad at the same time. Observation is the only way that change happens, okay? Because if you're trying to change something physically without knowing what the triggers are and why you do what you, why you, do, what you do, that change is going to be short-lived if you don't get to the root of what's affecting you, what's triggering you, what's your triggers, okay? Now, with that being said, my lovelies, let's take a look at the fire signs today. Now, remember, we're dealing with your emotion, your emotional body, the moon energy, okay? So, we're dealing with all of that energy in the atmosphere today, okay? Now, I know I've been telling you guys that it's important for you guys to be able to pay attention to exactly where your moon placement is in your birth chart because your moon placement is going to let you know exactly how you respond emotionally, okay? So, for example, I'm a, um, a Scorpio sun. And my moon placement is in Gemini. So I'm a Gemini moon, which means my emotional body first thinks before it reacts, okay? And then it's filtered through my sun, which is my Scorpio. So not only am I thinking before I act, but then with that Scorpio energy, when I do act, it's going to be intense and just know that I am going to go to the depths of things. So in my thinking and in my emotions, it's going to be to the depths, okay? Now... We do have the moon energy, my loves, being in Gemini. Oh, uh, isn't that interesting? Didn't I just say I'm a moon Gemini? So with the moon energy being in Gemini today, and I think it enters... Ooh, the moon goes into Cancer tomorrow, so that's going to be a lot of feeling energy. So the moon is currently placed in Gemini as I am recording this video. So that is a lot of um, air energy. That's a lot of thinking, a lot of things in your head. So just pay attention to the energy. This is why you need to know how to... Um, how to you know, you need to know the energetic patterns and, and then um, how to master the energetic patterns so you can rise above them, okay? So we're going to start off with our fire signs today. Fire signs in your card. You guys have the number six card from my Zodiac deck. And the number six card is the sun in Virgo. And this is all about you paying attention to what you put your time and your energy in. Okay? Uh, because you reap what you sow. The energy you give to something is what will be produced. Okay? So when we're dealing with your emotions, a.k.a. your moon energy this week, the energy you give to your emotions is what you will produce. So whatever emotions you are given energy to, to, that is what is going to produce in your life. So if you're giving energy to feeling abandoned or feeling like somebody slated you, like somebody got away with something, feeling rejected, um, feeling not worthy, please know that if you're vibrating on that feeling, the universe is then going to bring to you, my wonderful fire signs, that in which you're giving feeling to. So if you're feeling abandoned, it's going to bring you more experiences of being abandoned. If you're feeling um, rejected, it's going to bring you more feel um, experiences of feeling rejected. So whatever you put your feelings into, your emotional body into, is what's going to manifest in this 3D realm. So fire signs, you guys have the sun in Virgo. Virgo energy is analytical energy, okay? Um, so you need to know that you reap what you sow, okay? Remember, fire signs for all of you guys here, okay? The fire energy is intuitive energy, and this is also about taking action, okay? So with that being said, my wonderful Sagittarius, today you have power, okay? So as you continue to pl um, plant energy or to um, seed energy, right, uh, towards what you desire to manifest, just know that you're doing that with power. So just pay attention to where you're planting your seeds, where you're giving your attention to today, my wonderful Sagittarius, because whatever you're giving your attention to, you're also giving your power to today, okay? All right, wonderful Leos, you guys have the hunger card popping up today. Now, the hunger card, when this card pops up, this is all about being able to follow your instincts. Things, okay. Now, once again, because you guys have um, the sun energy in Virgo popping up in your placement today, this is all about your endeavors. 
What is important to you, Leos? Follow your instincts, okay? This is not a, a, a time to really follow your ego per se, but you want to go a little bit deeper with this. You want to go back to your, your internal, um, I want to say, knowing. Maybe that knowing that you can't explain, that's what, we, that's what you want to tap into, my wonderful Leo. So follow your instincts today as you give energy towards the things that you want to manifest, okay? Now, my wonderful, wonderful Aries, today you guys have self-reflection power popping up okay so fire signs what are you putting your attention towards today that is what is asking you to pay attention to because whatever you're giving your energy today that is what you're going to reap into your experience okay now let's jump on over here to my wonderful water signs water signs you guys have number card card number 30 from the zodiac deck and this is the eclipse in Virgo. Now, keep in mind, eclipse energy is all about change, okay? So, with this eclipse energy in Virgo today, it's all about being able to reorganize things, okay? Now, keep in mind, once again, pay attention to your emotions. Maybe some things emotionally may need to be reorganized today. And because this is a earth card with this eclipse in Virgo, this can also be things in your physical realm, my wonderful water signs, that may need to be reorganized. Your schedule, um, uh, your money, your time, okay? So just pay attention to that today, okay? And, and and organize them properly. Like, don't give things too much of your attention that you shouldn't, okay? That's going to be key, all right? So let's start off with my wonderful Scorpios today. The energy that you're working with is, is a time for healing, okay? Now, it's asking you to really put energy towards what it is you need healing in, right? Like, so, for example, if meditation is something that you need to implement in your schedule and make sure that that is priority, then you need to do so. If me time is something that you need, then you need to do so, okay? Whatever it is that you need to do to recapture your healing and th that going in to refill yourself today, to replenish yourself today, my wonderful Scorpios, that is what you need to do, okay? So choose wisely. Ooh, Okay. All right, Cancers, you guys have prosperity lies ahead today. So just choose wisely what you want to invest your energy towards because whatever you're investing your energy in, keep in mind, is what you're manifesting, okay? So organize properly, prioritize your time properly is what I'm hearing, my wonderful Cancers. All right, Pisces, today you have meditate and contemplate. So Pisces, you guys have a lot of brand new ideas coming forth, especially with this 2020 energy, and it's going to be important for you not only to reorganize organize your time but also your emotions as well as your thinking okay are you giving too much thought to something that you shouldn't be or should you really be meditating on that which you really need your attention so are you giving too much attention to somebody else's issues or somebody else's problems and not the things that are that that needs your attention right now okay so pay attention to that Figure out what you need to reorganize in your life, my water, uh, wonderful water signs, because that is what your message is today. Okay, so let's jump into my wonderful earth signs. With my wonderful earth signs, you guys have the sun in Pisces energy, which is all about higher purpose. And Pisces energy, my loves, is all about you being able to align yourself with wisdom and love, okay? And I'm not just talking about love with conditions. I'm talking about unconditional love. That type of love that moms, you know, mothers usually have for their children, like no matter how or what your children do, you just still have a, a love for your kids, okay? So we're talking about that unconditional love. When you start to realize that you meet no one but you and everyone is really a reflection of you, either a part of you that you need to embrace or a part of you you need to release, then you really start to understand that you don't really have to take things personal. Because nine times out of ten, when people do shit, they don't got nothing to do with you. When, when someone hurts you or rejects you, it usually they don't have anything to do with you but their own insecurities that they're dealing with, okay? So my wonderful earth signs, today your message is the sun in Pisces, which is card number 12, okay? Uh, which talks about you aligning yourself with your higher purpose and wisdom today, okay? Love your higher purpose and wisdom today is your message today. All right, my wonderful Capricorns, you guys have working on self-love today as you rise to your higher purpose with love and wisdom. And can I say something? This is really good because in unconditional love and in wisdom, your ego don't reside. And sometimes Capricorn can have big egos, which is not a good thing because you do need the ego to work for you. In this third dimensional realm, don't get me wrong, right? 
However, today, self-love, I don't think that's going to be a problem for my Capricorns. Yeah, mm -mm. That's not going to be a problem for you, okay? The one thing that I do say as you're tapping into self-love, don't do the blaming game. Just own your shit and own what you tolerated and what you what you tolerated that you're no longer going to tolerate. So when you feel the desire to get angry at somebody because you tolerated something, my wonderful Capricorns, this is a season to love yourself and forgive yourself for tolerating maybe some things that you should not have tolerated, okay? All right, my wonderful Taurus, you guys got love on the mind today so it is asking you to align yourself with a higher purpose of love and wisdom when it comes to your love walk today so when you're dealing with others when you're dealing with others my love okay it's going to be important for you to be able um, to recognize the change that needs to come back in um, through love because change is not gonna happen if you are uh, um, operating in selfishness, okay? Um, change is not going to happen with you operating in selfishness. Okay, let's see. Not yet. Okay. So, let's just go back. Okay, so I just want to recap for my wonderful, wonderful earth signs, okay? Recapping for my earth signs, you got the sun energy in Pisces, which is all about your higher purpose. Capricorns, they're asking you to tap into self-love today, okay? With um aligning yourself with your higher purpose and wisdom, all right? Taurus, they're asking you to step into love today as you're moving towards your higher self with love and wisdom, all right? Virgos, today they're asking you just to be mindful, okay, as you align yourself with your higher purpose and wisdom, just to be mindful that you're not being stuck in sadness, okay? Now, this is card number five from the deck. The number five represents change. So just be open today, my wonderful Virgos, to bring in whatever healing, especially in your emotional um, body or in your enemy, your heart chakra that needs to come in today. Uh, remember, it is not about you taking things personal, but you being able to forgive yourself first, okay? Uh, so you can then uh, forgive other peoples. Other people, not peoples. <laughs> okay, all right, my wonderful air signs. You guys have the eclipse in Taurus energy. With the eclipse in Taurus energy, this is all about reevaluation, okay? This is about reevaluation of self. Um, this is about re-evaluation of the things that you want in your life. This is re-evaluation about what you accept. Um, maybe this is re-evaluation about boundaries. This is re-evaluation where you know uh, a change of heart is needed because you've learned some things of you or you've grown, okay? All right, so my wonderful Geminis, you guys have... Um, the moon card popping up now. Once again, we know moon deals with their emotions. So this moon card popping up, Gemini is saying, take note from the intuitive messages. And we talk about this all of the time. Uh, the intuitive messages are feminine. Okay. So when we're talking about um when we're talking about the moon, we're talking about feminine energy, that inner energy, okay? When we're talking about the sun, we're talking about masculine energy, okay? So even when we break it down to the brain, the left and the right brain, left brain is going to be masculine energy, sun energy, which you project outwardly to the world, you know? The moon is going to be that feminine energy, that hidden part within you. So today, my wonderful Geminis is saying, pay attention to the intuitive messages because you are going through maybe um, a day of re-evaluating things okay so pay attention to that pay attention to that I have to I'm so sorry I'm due recording today and this is the like the absolute third time that I've been interrupted as I'm recording. Um, so I'm just going to recap for my wonderful um, Taurus, okay? So you guys got the moon card. It's all about paying attention to your intuitive messages. Remember, the moon is all about your emotions, okay? Taurus, that's going to be important, okay? All right, Libras, you guys have the star ancestor popping up for your message today. When the star ancestor pops up, this is about following the voice of your soul, that inner being. So once again, because you're re-evaluating things today, Libras, with this Taurus energy... <coughs> 
Be mindful to whatever you're whatever you're reevaluating today, Libras. It needs to have balance. You need to be able to go in and to be honest with yourself. All right. The stars are really okay. Any exter external stars that you guys are seeing in the heavens or any external planets, please know that these planetary alignments are also lining up within you. Okay. So everything you see up in the heavens, they're also a part of you. Okay, please believe that. All right. Now, with that being said, my wonderful Libras, you're going to have to follow your inner voice again today. There's a lot of internal inner messages today. You cannot master anything on this realm if you're not mastering your feelings. Okay. Last but not least, Aquarius, you guys have the heart guard, or the, I'm saying the heart guardian, but it's really the earth guardian. And it's time you to stay rooted and grounded today. And if you can, you can't see this card via the podcast, but if you're looking on this via YouTube, there's a lot of green going going on. Uh, and green represents the heart chakra. Okay. So once again, you're still having to balance your emotions and pay attention to what's going on emotionally. Okay. So overall energy on the board, guys, my wonderful, um, fire signs, you guys need to pay attention to where you put in your energy today because you reap what you saw, wherever you put your energy is what's going to manifest into your life. What are signs you guys need to pay attention today to where you put in your priorities today. Okay. Reorganization may be needed today. My wonderful water science apply uh, or, or prioritize based on what you feel intuitively needs to be prioritized accordingly okay earth signs today guys you guys have pisces energy showing up which is asking you to align yourself with love and wisdom align yourself with your higher self with love and wisdom okay uh last but not least my wonderful air signs today guys you're being asked to reevaluate things so if a change of heart is needed you can bring that change in that's needed remember any change that you need to bring into your life first has to be done through self-observation, right? And you can only really observe yourself without judgment and, and in love. Because if you're observing yourself with judgment and with ridicule, then you're just beating up on yourself. And then that change will be short-lived because you're not really trying to change for the deeper good of yourself or for the better good of, of yourself or for the expansion of yourself. But you're trying to change because you're looking at yourself with a whole bunch of judgment. And that's not how change should come in. Okay? All right, my loves. As usual, you guys know I love you. Once again, you guys can tune in on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube because I do go live on YouTube uh, at 8.30 uh, Friday nights. So come on in and join me. Uh, I answer um, questions from the chat so you guys can come on and mingle with us there. We have a lot of fun. Don't forget, um, my loves. Your individuals will start going up today, um, so you can check out your individual videos. We're going to do love readings this week, so you guys can find those videos via my YouTube channel, the number four, your inner voice. Uh, and don't forget, holiday special coaching session slash intuitive readings for 30 minutes, donation of $50. You guys can either PayPal me at the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. The same way the channel is spelled. It's the same way my PayPal um, address is at gmail.com. Com, or you can cash at me at dollar sign K I M O Y one zero six. Make sure you include your email address and what type of reading you would want to um, to have. Okay, my love. So same place, same time tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget, we will be back here breaking on down some more of this energy tomorrow. Okay, my loves. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. Have a wonderful day. I love and I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys know the deal, okay? You got to make sure that you do something kind for yourself. Be nice to yourself. And I literally mean that. A lot of people are not even nice to themselves, you know? A lot of people are not. Okay. I appreciate each and every one of you.